Bonjour à tous! Welcome to today's episode of Life in Lyon. So, I am talking about a subject that I'm sure some of you are dying to know about, those of you who are prospective exchange students here at Université Jean Moulin Lyon 3. Today, I am going to give you a rundown on the campus and a little tour of the Manufacture de Tabac, which is the campus for law students, language students, art students, and several postgraduate subject studies. So, the Manufacture de Tabac is located in the 8th arrondissement of Lyon, and it originally was as its name says, a tobacco manufacturing plant. So there was a factory there once upon a time in this building. The building, I believe, was renovated in 2004 and it is now the university campus that we have today. So I am currently at this campus studying for this with the SELF program. If you don't remember, I have talk a little bit more about the program and my timetable and the link here or below, I'll put it somewhere around there. And that was a my first video for the series Life in Lyon where I talk about the administrative side of things here in Lyon when you come to settle in France. So I thought I would start talking to you today firstly about the first thing which is how do you get there? The three best ways that I recommend are by taking the metro, getting on your bike or walking. In terms of catching the metro, the metro system is fantastic here. You can literally get to university if you live near any metro stop in Lyon and you just hop on different lines to get there. So the closest metro stop to the manufacture de tabac is known as Sans Souci. Sans Souci literally translates to without worry. Who knows why, but there is definitely no worry in getting to university. Yeah. So um, that was a flat, that was a flat joke, my bad. Sans Souci is on the green line, which is also known as the D line of the metro system. It is right by campus, so you get, if you take the metro, you will arrive right on track at university itself. Second uh, way that I advise you to get around here in Lyon to the university is by vélo, which is bike in French. The company that does the drop-off um, bike points or bike depots around the city is known as Velov. V-E-L-O-V and around the university campus itself there are several drop-off and pick-up points for their bikes so you pay um, I think 16 euros a year and you get the app on your phone and then you can unlock the bikes and drop them off in various locations all around the city so that's really really handy and a nice way to get a bit of exercise. The third way is by foot you can access the university by foot probably a good idea if you decide to live in a accommodation or a residence nearby. So once you have taken your transport to university, obviously you need to enter the university. There are several access points to the university. Uh, on the website itself, they recommend that you either access the university via the Rue Professeur Holy access point, which is the most popular. It's a um, passageway which doesn't really have access to cars. There are a lot of cafes along this sort of passage um, and various other shops and things. Lots of students lurk out there by the front gate and have a cigarette before they go to class. Very French thing with their coffee. <laughs> um, not me though. Health promotion. Don't smoke at home. There are various other access points around the building. It's probably a good idea for me to talk about the layout itself. Just pulling up the map here. The campus, um, it's pretty much a long rectangle and there are two courtyards in the centre of that rectangle. One is called the Cour Nord, which means the North Court, and the other one is called the Cour Sud, which means the South Court. And then pretty much you have all of the classrooms around the perimeter of these two courtyards. The building has several underground levels also several up ground levels and then of course ground floor levels and it's quite a straightforward map to figure out and find your way around. In terms of the layout as well I want to say that within each of the two courts you're connected with a sort of a, a foyer. It's a covered but outdoor foyer and you, you can link through there and uh, you've got vending machines, Lots of students sign up for coffee. It's really cheap. It's like 80 cents or like not even that. It's super cheap um, for a black coffee out of the machine. That's very popular after a long session of class. 
most of the amphitheaters or amphi, amphi, that's what they call them here, amphitheatre, are on the underground levels, but there are several large ones on the upper levels. And then you have lots of classrooms, which are more sort of mini tutorial classroom style lecture rooms. Um, and they're a lot more intimate because they're, they cater for a smaller number of people. Uh, the program, the self program, have a lot of their classes in these smaller tutorial style rooms because there aren't so many of us. But I believe that the domestic students and those of you who study in the DOF program will end up in the larger ampi, um, amphitheatres. The amphitheatres themselves are like really large lecture lecture theatres, lecture halls, whatever you call them in your country. The classrooms are sort of tiered, small seating, or even just desks in a row like you would see in a classroom. It's almost a little bit like a prison, you know, there isn't a lot of colour in the rooms, but maybe I am just used to my university at home. But um, yeah, that's sort of the general impression I have had from other people or my friends who are here. They sort of feel like the actual, like, the interior of the rooms is not that exciting. But anyway, we can let that slide because that's not why we're here. Um, yes. For the self students, we're quite lucky because the professors or the lecturers, they provide the classes generally with PowerPoint slides to accompany the, the class. I've heard though that in the DOF program, it's very different. The French, they get the traditional French lecturing style, which is literally the professor gets up, they start talking and they're just typing away frantically to try and transcribe everything that the professor is saying. So that's a lot of fun. Other facilities on campus. I think the next thing I should really talk about is the library. That's something that you all probably need to use at some point. The library has printing facilities there. They have a help desk with staff who can help you if you need to find um, material, academic materials for your research papers. Um, and it's generally just a good study place in general. You have several levels in the library and the library itself I think is really nice. It's very modern, it's a glass building. Um, and inside you've got various levels, some with silent study spaces, other uh, levels with group working spaces. And um, I actually think the library is a really nice building. It's um, It's got a nice sort of light, fresh vibe. I suppose it's because it's a full glass building. So there's plenty of daylight in there and it's quite a nice space to work in when you want to study. Below the library, um, if you go into the entrance and then you go down one level, there's actually a gallery uh, where students exhibit their artwork. I don't know a lot about it, but I have been downstairs a few times and there's always something interesting to look at on the walls or a few sculptures and bits and bobs. So that's pretty cool. One thing that a couple of my friends thought that I should maybe mention is the toilet situation. So the public toilets are not all like this, but one thing that surprised me when I got to the university was that the main toilets on the ground level are unisex. And I don't have a problem with that, but it was just a little bit like of a culture shock for me because uh, at university in New Zealand, we only have, you know, their individual toilets according to male and female. Um, so you're sort of queuing up and the guys are doing their thing over there and then you're lining up to use the um, lavatory spaces, I suppose you could call them. But not all of the, the toilets are like that. Um, and I don't want to have too much of a toilet talk, but it's really interesting. One thing I've noticed in France is they don't use toilet seats a lot. Like you're literally sitting on the rim of the bowl. Um, the university is trying to upgrade their toilets, apparently. That's not always the case. Some, some toilets are female, male, if that's an issue for you. Yeah, toilet talk, I'll finish there. Next thing I think I should talk to you about is food on campus. You have several options of for places to eat around university. In the campus itself, you have a cafe known as Cour, Cour de Blé, I think, which means heart of wheat or something. And underneath ground level, there is a student cafeteria. And you can actually use your student ID card. Oh no, that's not my student ID card, that's my bus card, oops. You can use your... University Jean Moulin card. I don't want to show you my photo because it's not the flashiest. There's a company called Isley um, associated with your student card. 
and it lets you load money onto the card and you can go to the cafeteria. I've never been, but apparently they have really cheap meals for like three euros or two euros or something like that. And I think it's a buffet style um, cafeteria so you can go and have a bit of everything, which could be a great option for you if you want to stay at uni late or if you just want a cheap option to eat on campus. Around the campus itself, we have McDonald's. Um, there are several cafes, several bars, several pubs, uh, plenty of what they call taco shops, but in my mind, they're kind of a like a kebab shop, you know, like a wrap with like either meat or like falafel and then french fries inside and um, you know, that kind of kebab style wrap thing. So you've got plenty of choice in terms of cafes, bars, slash restaurants. Um, another thing, if you don't want to print at the library, there is a shop just by McDonald's, which is known as the Corep. C-O-R-E-P. Corep. Um, and it's a printing shop as well. I actually prefer to go there just because I can log into my Google Drive and print straight away and I didn't have to download software onto my computer to make the printing work at the library so um, it's a good backup option and you can you know load money on this card as, as you wish and um, do whatever printing you need to do. What else is around university? There are supermarkets just down that main street um, there's a Carrefour uh, in one direction and then there is a Casino which is a larger big supermarket um, company here in France in the other direction so if you need to grab something on your way home a bite to eat um, it's all there, it's all accessible to campus. And the last thing that I think I should mention is the sports and recreation that you have available at the Manufacture du Tabac. So when you were doing your enrollment registration for the university, you would have had the option to sign up for the sports um, card that's available at the university. I think it's about 30 euros or roughly 30 euros. Don't worry if you have changed your mind and you didn't apply for that then. You can actually apply for that during orientation. I waited until I got to university just to check out the facilities and I actually opted to not get the card just because the gym facilities at the university are a bit different to what I am used to doing back home. I think when you want to go and do weights and things it's got to be with an instructor and I just that's not really how I, I like to work out. If you want to know more about that I will put a link below uh, which has the timetable from this semester, semester one uh, the fall semester 2019 just so you can get a feel for what sports and activities are available here at the university. Another thing I need to talk about is the International Relations Office because as an international student the International Relations Office will be your first port of call. The International Relations Office is located in the South Court um, just in the interior there's a massive sign uh, it's not hard to find at all but that's where your student coordinator is located and uh, anything that you, anyone that you would really need to go and seek advice for regarding your, your degree, um, all that kind of jazz is located there. That's really all I have to say about the campus to be honest. Yeah. So, um, hope you guys have enjoyed this little snapshot guide of the Manufacture de Tabac campus. Comment below, let me know if you're coming here soon, uh, if you've got any other questions or queries. I would love to hear from you. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever in the world you are. It is night time now, so I'm going to say bonne nuit from France. Good night and a bientôt, which means see you soon. See you guys.